Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to use behavior tree to navigate the robot. This is the behavior tree format. So here we have a fallback. If any person found, it will return success that this sequence won't be executed. If there is no person, so it will get the uh, waypoints and navigate to the waypoints. We have uh, multiple waypoints. So every waypoint, it checks if there any person available in the frame. If, if there is no one, it will continue to the next one. If the person is there, it will stop it there itself. I'm using a quote from this book, uh, Francisco Martin Rico. On top of that, um, I have added object detection to perform the actions. We have a simulation started and we have another YOLAX RAS2 node also started for object detection. We are going to start um, behavior tree Okay, it is started. Um, so here there is a person. So it is not executing that uh, navigation. So we'll move the person from the camera. So here the person is not available. Robot started to navigate navigation. It is moving to multiple waypoints. Here we'll bring the person again. So now the robot has stopped moving. Since the person is available, the next sequence is not getting executed. We'll move away again. It is started moving to next point. So now it is found a person, then it is stopped moving. This is the behavior tree XML file. Uh, here we have a reactive sequence and fallback. So inside fallback we have a person checker. It checks for is there any person available in the frame. If it is, if there any person it will return success. So this sequence won't be executed. If it is not there. Um, it returns failure, so this sequence will get executed. In the sequence, first it gets a waypoint, and the waypoint will pass to the next node, move. So the move, it will perform navigate to pose action.